Mastering the Valuation and Accounting of Futures Contracts, a Comprehensive Guide. A futures contract is a financial agreement between two parties to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price and time in the future. It is a standardized contract traded on an exchange, where the buyer agrees to purchase the underlying asset at a specific date and price, and the seller agrees to sell the asset at that date and price. Futures contracts are used for hedging against price fluctuations, as well as for speculative purposes. They are settled either through physical delivery of the underlying asset or through cash settlement. When a futures contract is purchased, the following journal entry is typically recorded. Debit Futures Contract Asset Account Credit Cash Bank Account The futures contract asset account is recorded as a current asset on the balance sheet, while the cash bank account is reduced by the amount paid to purchase the contract. The purchase of a futures contract does not typically impact the net asset value NAV, of an investor's portfolio, as the value of the contract is marked to market on a daily basis, which means that any gains or losses are reflected in the NAV on a daily basis. The fair value of the futures contract is reported as a current asset or liability on the balance sheet depending on whether it is in a gain or loss position, respectively. Any changes in the fair value of the contract are recorded on the income statement under unrealized gains or losses. The market value of a futures contract is the current value of the contract in the market. It is calculated by multiplying the current market price of the futures contract by the size of the contract. For example, if the current market price of a crude oil futures contract is $60 per barrel and the size of the contract is 1,000 barrels, then the market value of the contract would be $60,000. Profit and loss in a futures contract is calculated based on the difference between the contract price at the time of purchase and the contract price at the time of sale or settlement. The profit or loss is then adjusted for transaction costs and any margin requirements. Let's take an example to illustrate the calculation of profit and loss in a futures contract. Assume that an investor purchases one crude oil futures contract at a price of $50 per barrel. The contract size is 1,000 barrels, so the total value of the contract is $50,000. After two months, the investor decides to sell the futures contract at a price of $55 per barrel. The profit or loss on the contract can be calculated as follows. Profit, loss equals, selling price, purchase price, X contract size. Profit, loss equals, $55 to $50, X 1,000. Profit, loss equals $5,000. Assuming that the transaction costs for entering and exiting the futures contract are $200, the net profit on the trade would be $4,800. It's important to note that the profit or loss on a futures contract is realized only when the contract is sold or settled. Until then, the profit or loss is unrealized and subject to change based on the market price of the underlying asset. Additionally, Margin requirements may affect the amount of capital required to enter into the contract, and any changes in the margin requirements may impact the profit or loss on the contract. What happens at the time of expire of future contract and how it impact to balance sheet? At the time of expiration of a futures contract, the contract must be settled. Settlement can occur through physical delivery of the underlying asset or through cash settlement, depending on the terms of the contract. If the contract is settled through physical delivery, the buyer of the contract is obligated to take delivery of the underlying asset, while the seller is obligated to deliver the asset. The asset is typically delivered to a designated warehouse or storage facility, and the buyer must arrange for transportation and storage of the asset. The transaction is recorded as an asset acquisition for the buyer and a sale for the seller. If the contract is settled through cash settlement, the buyer and seller exchange cash based on the difference between the contract price and the market price of the underlying asset at the time of settlement. The transaction is recorded as a cash inflow for the buyer and a cash outflow for the seller. When a futures contract expires, any unrealized gains or losses on the contract are realized and recorded on the income statement. If the contract was held as a hedge against a particular risk, the gain or loss may be offset by a corresponding loss or gain in the underlying asset being hedged. The fair value of the futures contract is reported as a current asset or liability on the balance sheet depending on whether it is in a gain or loss position, respectively. At expiration, the asset or liability is removed from the balance sheet as it is settled or cash is exchanged, which may impact the overall balance sheet position of the company or investor holding the contract. The impact on the balance sheet will depend on the specific terms of the contract and the method of settlement. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts or questions about any financial product, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to explain it to you.